Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Berseria. We're pretty much near the end of uh, whatever this area is called. And uh, we're actually, yeah, it's called the, the Marsh. Yeah, we're pretty much out of here. After one more... Wait, if we're supposed to be going that way, how the hell do we... Oh, because you know what? The... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember, I remember. We were actually blocked off from going that way because it was a barrier. So we had to go the complete opposite way. So yeah, we're halfway done with this dungeon slash area and uh what we want to do is just navigate through here and we're just gonna dodge as many idiots as possible and there's a cold red demon coming up so this should be fun Ooh, cat orbs cat spirits cat balls however you want to call them well since i'm over here might as well get it Yay, soul bottle. Sure, I should hit this. That barrier is gone. That means I can jump over there now. Oh, look what happened. Oh, they want me to do the. Okay, I see what they want me to do. They want me to literally backtrack so hard. Oh my god. Using that art could be fatal. I can't allow Oscar to try it. Lady Teresa, is something the matter? It's nothing. I'm fine. But you looked like you were in pain. Oh. I was just thinking a bit. You didn't have time to rest after recovering from the Corsair's scourge. You're awfully hard on yourself, you know. And even harder on others, am I? Th that's not what I meant. It doesn't matter. I'm well aware that I'm stone cold. But they say a Moloch never knows his vessel's heart. I said nothing all those times you snuck off to the library, did I? You knew about that? <laughs> of course I knew. But I was just letting you roam free like a master might let her little pup. Number one didn't wander about like you did. What makes you different? I'm sorry. Well, boys will be boys, I guess. But I was planning on punishing you if that behavior continued. Wow. Punish me how? You don't want to know. It might wreck your good cheer. Lady Teresa! <laughs> Look at how open she's being. Do you really think she'll work with us? I don't think she's lying to us. But I don't think she's being entirely truthful either. Look, I know I probably don't have to say this, but... She's a bitch. You don't. I won't <laughs> let my guard down. If I see anything funny, she's dead. And since she has no Moloch, it'll be quick. <laughs> you said it, not me, though. Anyway, we want to go deal with these assholes over here, and we actually have, we have to activate that Geo Tree to, in order to be able to proceed. So let's go ahead and do that first and foremost. Maybe, I don't think we have to, but it'll definitely come in handy here to progress through this area faster. Oh man, I'm trying to avoid all these dangerous encounters. Trying to avoid as many encounters as possible. Oh, look, there was a wind thing over here too. Nice. So I'm kind, I'm kind of glad I came all the way over here because I didn't notice there was a barrier, uh, um, a switch to get rid of that barrier right there. Oh, she sits on it. <laughs> That's cool. Everybody has a different uh, animation to how they sit on the damn uh, broom. And there's a silver chest right here. Hopefully they still aren't following me. Alright. I haven't really been switching my equipment, so it's not like it really matters. As long as you got good equipment, like powered up, you should be good. So what we're gonna do is come over here to fight this cold red. Might as well take care of the cold reds along the way, right? So we don't have to backtrack six years into the future. Alright, let's go ahead and quick save, just in case. I also want to switch on my party a little bit. Uh, Lobset will stay in, but we'll have... You want me in? Fine by me. Yep, yep, I want you in, my boy. Here we go. You're strong, but I'm stronger. So, Crustacean Fiend and Dragon. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Damn, he has a lot of health. 
depths of water. Um, crustacean, right? Crustacean. Crustacean. I know we got a couple of crustacean type moves. Gouging spin. Holy shit. Oh, that's actually crustacean. So yeah, that'll be that'll work really nice. We also need dragon. Soaring dragon is what we'll have right here. What the hell is bouncing around? Holy shit! That dude's bouncing around. Damn it, I try to go into a uh, Mystic Art Frenzy. No mercy! Wounds that won't shoot! Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Uh, 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 uh. Spirit release! The light of virtue! The dark of vice! Joining chaos! Chaos bloom! Now, with a single breath, they appear! Here they come! There's no stopping them now! Good breath! I wish I got the stun. This dude backed off so quick. He's burned, so that's actually really good. Yeah, that's dangerous. That's definitely dangerous. Where the hell this dude come from? Just building up my BG right now. Get up. Oh, they should have never did that. I'm just building up my BG because of this. They just made them easy ass targets to go after. He gets out of there so quick. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> I thought we were done for. A lot of gray there. <laughs> Jeez, a pair of short swords that sacrifice sharpness for greater art potential. Alright, nice. So my girl My girl Velvet is probably getting bent. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Damn, I need to get that to 8. I need I need to get these to like plus 8 all of them eh, at least. I need to make sure they're at least at level 30. Level 30 uh, equipment level so they can benefit from these souls. But that's like hard enough as it is because it takes a lot of fucking grinding just to get the orderless fluid. That's like the biggest, uh, that's the, the biggest freaking ingredient that you kind of need if you want to upgrade anything past like a certain level. Because orderless fluid becomes necessary in order to level up a lot of the damn weapons. Also need to hit the water thing. So I can move on here. Nope. No time to fight you. Right, we got rid of the code red. So if we come over here and hit that switch, we should be able to move forward. Alright. You could actually run. This walk speed is not fast enough, man. <laughs> it's so it's like they got some expansive areas, but there's nothing in it. It's just you walking, B. Boom. See now we're over here. Now if we wanted to get back over here, we had to activate this. Boom. We had to activate that geo tree. There might be a boss coming up, so let me get ready to make a quick save. Boom. We fought a cold red, but that's not the boss. <laughs> that's not the boss, boss. Alrighty, we're just gonna roll past a lot of these guys. No need to bother with them. We already proven that we could handle them. So, what's the point? So, we need to find a fire glyph. I didn't see one on the way over here, so it's probably to the left of us. Let's make a new save. I always want to make multiple saves, just in case corruption or Teresa, recording errors. Let's review our plan before we go in. All right. We'll tell Oscar that we'll release you if he gives up his weapons and Malachim. We'll tie him up, collect the Therian, and then head for the docks. Once we're aboard our ship and ready to sail, we'll release you. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Very well. But I want you to promise me one thing. You won't hurt promise him. me you won't hurt Oscar. Yep. That depends on him. I'll defend myself if I have to. Um, Velvet. Please, do it for me, too. If you want to save Oscar, you need to make him listen. Put your own life on the line. <laughs> You're his sister. Do whatever you have to to protect him. See, at that point, he would probably realize that. Even if it means my death. This was collusion. He would probably realize it It will be collusion. You know what I'm saying? So, if she even talks at all, Oscar will probably most likely catch on that she's working with him. <laughs> I think this is going to the other area, so we don't need to come over here. We actually might have to come over here now that I think about it to hit that switch. Yeah, look at that. There's an earth switch over here, too. Yeah, it looks like we have to backtrack and hit a few switches, maybe. No switches over here. Where the switch is at? Where the switch is at, though? Yo, it looks like we're backtracking. Luckily, we have a G. Whoa! Uh, no. <laughs> Not today. Man, I wish you kept the momentum from the jump you do with the down geo thing. And it has a slow startup too, by the way. If you as soon as you try to get on the geo board, it has a slow startup, and that's annoying. So you can't really use it for areas like this. You just have you might as well just keep walking. <laughs> like for we for real. For real. For reals? Take a sip. <laughs> it's not the game, but take a sip. 
So we need to find a yeah, there we go. No, that's Earth. I guess we'll hit this one too. I guess we won't hit that one. <laughs> Where's this fire? There we go. All the way back here, huh? This might block my path regardless. Alright, so after flicking the fire switch, we are back on this side. We will now be able to progress to the other side of the next area. Or basically where we need to go, which will most likely be a boss fight. No, it might be another dungeon and then a boss fight. <laughs> now that I think about it, who knows? Save over this. There we go. It'll most likely be a dungeon and then a boss fight, right? I guess this will lead us to the other glyph because this is not where we need to be <laughs> apparently all these cat balls military hike I'm not sure if this is exactly where we need to be I feel like it is but at the same time we probably still have a little bit more to do quick save this looks like a wide open area for a fight. I'm just saying. Alright, so that means we need to flick a switch here. Or not. Old flyers. Um, I assume I have to backtrack and hit the earth fucking... Oh my god, this is annoying as fuck. The backtracking is not a puzzle. Is annoying. <laughs> it's, it's like shit. It's very annoying. I thought somewhere in here would be like a switch where we need to hit the switch, and I thought that I thought this would be the area, but it's definitely not the area. So that was definitely not the area. We need to go more north. We need to go north. So definitely, what we're gonna do is. See what we got back. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! The Kraymel Cage. The Mistress's Encouragement. Scout ships. Alright, let's keep going. So we need to find. Uh, we need to find a switch for this upcoming portal. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's kind of lame, so. We gotta get past the water and we gotta get past an earth symbol. Well, time to backtrack again. Alrighty, guys, so after literally five minutes of just backtracking this area, dude, here we are about to essentially be exactly where we need to be. I'm not sure how much I cut out, but it was really annoying to have to backtrack like that. So, here we go. There's a wide open space coming. I should probably just be better safe than sorry and quick save right now. And now, I'm gonna come over here. Because that first passage next to the save point where I thought we were supposed to go was not where we were supposed to go. It led to two chests that were completely trash. We're almost at the Earth Pulse point. You all know the plan, right? I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. That's right, tell him, Velvet. Tell him. You tell him, girl. You tell her. Yeah, I'm just gonna come over here to these uh this chest real quick. Look at Oscar. Old Flynn looking ass. Old guy Cecil looking ass. Yeah, I'm about to roast you. You look like the type of dude that eat pizza with bones in them. <laughs> Whoa, it's a succubus. Holy cow. I knew you'd come, Velvet. 
Sister! As plain as day. Now put down your sword and let go of my Therian. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward! I'm sorry to do this, Oscar! I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? <laughs> yup, that's I'm reason. I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. Psych! Is this actually gonna go as planned? Ooh! Get that shit out of here! Teresa, get back! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Knocked his ass out! Forgive me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. Knock that man out. We've kept our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Really? Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. We about to get in that ass. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. We about to get in them cheeks. But he has shown me the light, and it shines. My body is receptive to Enominot's power. Really? And with it, I can protect everything I care about. Mm, yeah, girl. Bring that ass here. <laughs> Wow. She turned into a Therian? No, Fuck. she fused with it. I'll kill you all. Anything to protect Oscar. Wow. What a twist. <laughs> Fiend and wing. Y'all better do. Oh, she, your weakness is not elemental. You're done. Merging with a Therian. Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? <laughs> a trivial sacrifice. I'd do anything for my Oscar. The power. Piece by piece. Your fundamentals? <laughs> Whack! 
footsies whack guarding whack <laughs> you got stomped it's okay sister you've done enough no don't look at me i'm so hideous when i was growing up the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother the heir but you Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. Seal the deal with the kiss, so we can all go to jail. Oscar. Seal the deal. Now, keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Oh shit, run back? We got two, a boss fight? We got a boss fight? Two boss fights in a row? Oh shit. We got Take a boss good rush. look. This is armatization. Armatization, huh? Really? 